Are you doing clickbait? Of course I'm doing clickbait. I'm tired of not getting no damn views. <laughs> You're watching The Bear Pantry Show. My name is Barbara and for over a Hello, decade everybody. I've been teaching viewers and subscribers how to cook authentic dishes from my home country of Belize and many other delicious dishes from basic ingredients. <laughs> you guys! Look it, look it, look it! Mm. You're gonna see a review on this for Amazon soon. I don't know if I close it though. Oh, it's easy to close. Okay, child. Okay. Put it up over here. So I got my tent because we've been having some fly issues. But let's let's do thumbnail first. You could you could pose with your pepper. You have to look up though. Alright. We have some crabs, soup crabs too, whatever you want to call it. Let me get the phone back here. We have paper. We have rice. No vegetables in this one today. We're going to eat the vegetables separate later on. So we went to Costco yesterday and we bought a pack. I think it was like, excuse you, you can't make all a nice day. You can't make all a nice day. We bought a pack for like $23 and it come with four sections like this. All of a sudden, we hear about everybody in there will eat crab. Did you? I didn't know these people eat crab. Yes, you did. I didn't. Jenna's over there making some kind of pizza bomb thing. It looks good. I want to taste one later. So let me let me dive in first. This stuff is good, people. Mm. It's good. Daddy. Yeah. I really know how to make these stews, though. Mm -hmm. Thanks right. to mommy. That's why I'm gonna keep you. A lot of people do, do roux, <clears throat> where it's like butter, flour. All kind of foolishness. We take the flour and bring it in the pot. Comment below if you come from, from a culture. I think I'm a little bit too close to you, baby. Why does thing feel like we're the KV? Is she had on the goat already? Comment below if you're from a culture where you bring your flour to make your room. Mm. Anyways, let's talk about my title. You know, Joe, I know how to do clickbait. I know how to name, because I watch enough YouTubers and their title that grab my attention. Okay. So I know how to apply it to my own show. But the reason I don't do clickbait is because I have a lot of diehard people that watch me that I treasure. And I, I fear that they may be so afraid. Of, oh my God, what happened to Barbara and Jonah, right? So I try not to be like that alarmist. When I come and tell you something, it's the truth. And this... It's not truly really clickbait, because honestly what I want to talk about goes with the title. So, I honestly think my time doing the Facebook Reels has come to an end. They re-signed me, they re-enrolled me on May the 18th. I'm taping this today, May the... Do it it today? 22nd. Thank you, baby, 22nd. Maybe I'll put it up to the two. Anyway, if I get it edited fast enough, I'll put it up today. If not, it'll go up tomorrow. So, they re enroll me on May the 18th. Oh, I was so excited to get re enrolled. When I check, when I went to bed, usually when I get re enrolled, I get 10,000 views pretty quickly on all my videos that's already there. So, that's $140. Because for the first 10,000 views, they give $14 a thousand view, right? That's more than what YouTube paid right now. For not, not for like short, but for regular videos. So that was a blessing. Make one party <laughs> right away before I go to bed, right? <clears throat> After that, it's $2 per thousand views, which is nothing. That's way underneath what YouTube paying for the regular videos. So I was pumping out the reels three a day for three months because if I put up one video for the day and the video get 10,000 views, that's two times 10 is $20, right? But if I put up five videos and they do that well, then that's like $100. Right. You see what I'm doing? So I was pumping them. You guys know I work hard for this stuff. I don't beg nobody for this stuff. I work hard. So tell me why when I wake up the money, I make $1. <laughs> I said, are they glitching? Did I get in trouble? 
Let me play a commercial so this man could go by. You want to cook more at home, but recipes can be overwhelming because most recipes cater to a large group. The solution is my new small batch book, No More Leftovers. Enjoy air fryer wings and other appetizers for two, small batch Belizean breads, main dishes for two, small batch dishes and drinks and smoothies for one. You'll be able to stay on your eating platter diet because my recipes for mini cakes, pies and cookies only yield enough for you to enjoy a treat and share with a couple of friends or family. Watch this easy recipe for one loaf of baguette. Place two and a half cups of all-purpose flour, one tablespoon sugar, one tablespoon active dry yeast, one teaspoon of salt and a cup of warm water in a bowl. Mix with the handle of a wooden spoon to make a dough ball. Cover and let rise for one hour. Punch down the dough then roll into a rectangle. Tuck and roll. Pinch the seams shut, score, then cover and let rise for 30 minutes. Bake at 400 degrees Fahrenheit for about 25 minutes, then butter and enjoy. Pick up a copy of my new small batch book, No More Leftovers, at www.bearpantryshow.com. Shop safely and securely at www.bearpantryshow.com. Okay. I am so sick of the ice cream man. No matter fear. what time of the day, right, Joe? Right. Like he can come on here three times a day or something. Nobody buying his ice cream. Mm, that's what you think. Maybe the people in the apartment. Mm -hmm. I see nobody buys a pound for street to buy anything at all. Right, they cut my hand. They have top about me, okay. Anyway, I said it must have glitched, so I had a friend try to help me dig up stuff on it. Finally, I went to go watch this um, channel, Moga. Moga family, M-O-G-A. You guys check her out. Very nice lady. She always tell us what's going on in the Facebook Reels. Child, tell me why. Then change it. Then pull the rug out for Ananitos. Well, that shouldn't be surprised to because <laughs> that's the way the YouTube go. It's oh, not YouTube. YouTube. Yeah, YouTube, um, Facebook. They yeah, did that to me in 2018, right? They, they stayed with me for six months they, and pulled the rug out. They do that to everybody. That's why all the people there, that were making the big money saying, oh, we're going to do this with us. I hope they may put them tax money they, aside. They're lucky they could make that money. Daddy, stop clinking the plates. Quiet, quiet. They're lucky they could make that money. Mm -hmm. Facebook don't make you make no money. Uh huh. The minute they see you, they make too much money. They give you the thing to do. The minute they see you making too much money, they pull the rug out from underneath you. And let me tell you something about Facebook. It's like five Asian guys, young guys in the 20s. Mm -hmm. That does the operations and they don't really know anything about like how YouTube operates and stuff like that. People have to tell them. They used to call me in there. Wow, well, let, let me tell them what's going on at YouTube, right? Mm -hmm. And then they start to try and match what YouTube do, but get worse. Cause YouTube horrible right now too because YouTube not pay me no money for these shorts. Nope. You guys, I, I have made one penny on these shorts. YouTube give out a bonus, but they hand pick you, and they haven't hand picked me yet. I say yet because I keep hoping. Anyway. This is what they're doing now. 50 cents per thousand view, and then I'll give you the $14 for the first 10,000 views. 14, you know, 14 per thousand. 50 cents per thousand view. Child, no. when I tell you no money, not a thing, no money in there. I'm trying to make you this guys. This stupid shell, what am I think, huh? I'm trying to make you guys be a slave for them now. Oh, I'm not going to be no slave for them. No, let me tell you something. They're running a, a not a bonus, we'll call it a thing. You can make a bonus. We'll call it a thing I want you to do, Joe. A challenge. They're running challenges, right? And the first challenge, I didn't even see the challenge pop up for me. My friend was telling me all night. Trying to find a challenge. Well, the challenge didn't pop up till I met the first challenge. The first challenge is upload five videos. And if each video get 100 views, you get $20. So I already made the $20. The next challenge is put 10 video. No, the first five come towards the 10. And if they get 500 views, you get $100. Well, I'm eight videos in, and only because I didn't upload 10 yet. Then, the next level is upload 15 videos. But listen to this part, Joe. Listen, 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 listen. Listen, Linda, listen. Mm -hmm. Remember how they said 500 views each? They want 10,000 views each. Jada. My videos weren't doing that. Hey. Jada, ah. can you bring a little bit of rice for me in a spoon? Rice in a spoon? Come get this bowl, baby. He has a bowl over here. Give me a little bit of rice in here, please. Should, <laughs> I, should I get Wednesday the bowl? Wednesday the come for the bowl. <laughs> so anyway. 
My videos, some of them get 10,000 views, but not all of them. Thank you. Thank you, baby. Uh -huh. But I have some video. Joe, did I tell you the one where I mess with the Christians? Did I tell you I want to have over half a million views? What? <laughs> oh, the which one? The one that what you said that I, you don't pray with your food mm -hmm. because I, I could cook? Mm -hmm. That one. Oh, then you had the shit out and cussed me out. You okay? That's so crazy. That's crazy. You're cussing me out and sharing the thing. Give me money for make my make my whole kitchen. Cause I have the money for make the, the kitchen. Anyway, um, the fourth one put up twenty five videos. I make them get fifty thousand views each. <laughs> fifty, fifty thousand views per twenty five videos. Now I got maybe ten or eleven videos that have a lot of views. 500,000, 200,000, 100,000, 50,000. But it's not no 25 videos, I don't think. Although the, I put up like 170 videos, you know, Joe, yeah, in that three months, and I record them all over. I don't think all I got no 50,000, so I don't think I could do that one. I don't know if I could do the third one for the $1,000, the 10,000 views, because you know what? Mm -hmm. Not only did they pay us less money, they start to suppress us in the distribution. How do I know this? A video, Joe, stop that nice domain. You make too much noise your spoon. Just because you hear an impaired we could hear you know. Look. You invite me here to eat. So don't scold me. Mm -hmm. Alright. It's mm -hmm. the people that are listening with their headphone man that will clink and annoy them. You don't mind, they don't mind. They don't mind? Okay. Cause if cause you don't mind. Because it's going to Do what I want them. Anyway. I'm sorry guys, but I'm enjoying this. <clears throat> me yeah. too, but but what? Pepper is hitting me. Do you have put that kind of pepper? You think you that choice? <laughs> that your problem? Shout out to choice. So we should enjoy invite choice with us to the beach. You think you would like it? Mm. Anyway, um, they start to suppress a video that would normally get four, five, six, seven, eight, ten thousand views. I'm gonna give 900 <laughs> view. So, you know, it's kind of like taking a test. If you, t let's say they give you a hundred questions on the test and you don't know some of the answers, right? My parents taught me that it's always best to try to give an answer even if you don't know the answer. Hold on guys. I'm gonna stay in the box my box. What happened, stop? Stop. Yeah. Anyway. I shall turn it down. My parents tell me, still answer the question, even if you don't know the answer, guess at it. And if you're guessing out of A, B, C, D, C. C, C comes up a lot. Because if you don't put an answer. You have no chance to win, no chance to get it right. Right? Right? Thank you, boo. So if I don't put up the 25 videos, I have no hope, no chance of getting the 50,000 views each. Or even the 10,000 views each for the 15 videos. So I'll, I'll put up the videos. I'm just not going to be focused on that. I'm not, they think I, I hear some people say that I put out four, five, ten hundred videos a day. Uh-uh. Mm -hmm. Not me. That's going to wipe you out. Me, I already know if it, you think I want to drop down? Uh-uh. So, after when I figure out what was going on, I feel a like peace come over me though, because I'm like, I don't have to kill myself over this no more. And I have enough money to do the, um, the kitchen. Joe finished the top part, the cabinet door above the fridge. The cabinet door left at the stove, the cabinet door right at the store. The store, the stove. All finished. The most expensive part, folks, is the countertop. That's mm -hmm. the one that'll kill you. You can tell me about. The hood to the hood are two chairs. Yeah. For me, for, for me, to build a cabinet is like $300 to build. Mm -hmm. What I'm doing is waiting for the credit card to start its new cycle on the 25th of May because I have the money to pay off this cycle, whatever's up there. I'm going to pay that off. And then the 25th, I made a new cycle start. That way, the bill won't be due until the um, ending of July. Mm -hmm, and by then, I'll get my, my last paycheck with a Facebook card. Mm -hmm. You know, the rest of the people there at all. Because I couldn't, I couldn't pay nobody $20,000 to come and do my cabinet. I, mm -hmm. I don't mm -hmm. have that kind of money. I don't know if I like the big bowl. Spoon, sorry, dropping it. So, so, so far, it cost me like $2,400. Yeah, it cost 5000 by the time we're done. And that's because I do it myself. So anybody will pay twenty thousand dollars for their kitchen, stop crying. Then people have to get their money for their labor. Mm -hmm. It was money well spent. 
I just didn't have it to spend. <coughs> if I had it to spend, I probably may I do the same thing. Right, Joe? My money wasn't a problem. I bless somebody. Mm -hmm. <coughs> I make some money. I don't like people when they hire people to come do a job in their house. <coughs> And they um they invest when the people charge them their labor. It's like then people have to pay it, like workers, they have to pay insurance, they have to oh because we had a business, we understand that, right? Mm -hmm. So that's the update on Facebook. That's the update on the kitchen. We're gonna buy the um the hood that has the chimney. So we're gonna rip out the cabinet that's above the stove. We don't use it anyway. Oily up in there. Oh my god, speaking of oil. <laughs> 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 Joe, should I tell her what happened? Mm -hmm. Oh my God. I, I'm going to tell you guys here at YouTube because I'm not going to put this video at Facebook. I don't like to put stuff like this at Facebook because they're very judgmental over there. In the YouTube, YouTube streets, there are different people. Different viewers. Anyway. So, Joe makes some fry, fry jack yesterday. And we saved two pieces of the dough to fry again today to get it fresh. So I take the oil out the oven because we put the skillet of oil in the oven. Now the oil was sitting on top of the stove for a long time yesterday before I put it away. And I do have a cover that I put on the oil in case fly come in at the house. So I think there was two skillet with oil, one that had oil that needed to go on the clean oil from the, from the fry jar. I take out the clean oil and I fry. Well, I heat up. I'm heating up the oil. And the oil getting ready. I'm rolling out the fry jar. Joe was over there making the bacon in the microwave and Joe turned it back. Joe, make you see. Okay, I'm gonna turn around and see them. <coughs> Check to see if the oil is ready. Uh huh. Look, I see something frying in there. What the hell is that? He goes, What are you frying in the oil? He thought maybe I put a piece of dough in there. Well, I thought he thought it could be tortilla chips, but nobody saw no or, fry no chips. Well, some, something, something that left over from something we cooked. Yeah, like something that we cooked in it before, but we only cooked the fried jack in it. We didn't cook no chips, no, no yeah, that's true. It was fresh chicken, oil. no nothing. It was fresh, good, clean oil. Child, tell me why it was a concuss. If you from Belize, you know how fly a concuss. All right? <laughs> My cousin Marcy couldn't say concuss. Marcy, I know you've forgotten that you couldn't say this when you were six years old. You said concuss. So we, we call it that sometime too to remember Marcy. A big fat juicy one. Probably probably came right off of the face of poop. Frying up in the aisle. I tell Jojo with the whole pot. <laughs> you know I've cut away the B-roll to show you this because I tape it. Jojo, not put that up there on Facebook has no real. Because then people are gonna come talk smack and then time he might have to cuss out somebody. And you know on Facebook, what's going on? She's begging. Go, do, no beg over here. Come on, to your bed. She loves seafood. Go to your bed. <laughs> go faster. Ooh, the mommy mad. The mommy tell her go faster. Oh my God, that nasty conkers in my eye. Which other whole thing? So I guess it got in there. So that's why I bought those tents. You know the tents were already here. But I didn't do the unboxing yet because I want to do a review for Amazon. So I'm going to put this all to Amazon. I don't care. Amazon have a different breed of people to it. So only Facebook have the judgmental people. Mm -hmm. And then put my mukbang on Facebook. You got to bitch about it. Uh, they owe them bitch about everything. I can't take it no more. And people say, oh, you're a whole content creator. You should learn how to tolerate X, Y, Z element. No, you try living in my, in my shoes. I don't have to put up with people and their crap all day long. I can't. I can't. Oops. So now I just have to cook when this lady came. No shade intended, but I wouldn't eat your tamales because that looks too, the cull look too thick and blah, blah, blah. The cull one cook, she's such an idiot. You know what, idiot. I don't remember what her name was, you're an idiot. Oh, I'm, 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 I'm on, the, I'm on a, a mean one today. She's not gonna eat because of what? The cull looked too thick when I was putting, take me the cull for putting it in the arm. Um, I was so thin than anybody else could. When you cook the tall, the, the tall, when you cook the cull, it gets back thin when it boils. So, Joshua, come here a second. Can you nuke this for me in the microwave? My soup got cold. Can I what? My soup got a little bit cold. Can you nuke it for like 30 minutes? 30 minutes. 30, minutes. 30 seconds in the microwave it for me. Dog, go for ya! <laughs> Dog, what the hell? <laughs> Winnie, come on. Winnie, friend. Winnie, She's afraid of Jada, because Jada's cold until I go to bed. <laughs> In the other table. <laughs> I wonder what the hell was brushing against my knee. Yeah, so what was I saying, Joe? Oh, the lady's stupid. When the thing cook, it 
it gets back soft, right? Oh, she gonna come, no shade, but I like your bread recipe, but no shade. I say, well, the minute you say no shade, that means you're trying to throw shade. Mm. And honestly, guys, if she know how to make tamales that good, because she says she could make good tamales, then why are you looking for my video? I just want to know, mm. because I don't look for videos of things that I know how to make well. No, if I think I'm not good at something, I'm gonna keep searching. I'm not good at that yellow cake. I want to learn to make that yellow cake because my new daughter, La to be, loves yellow cake. And every time her birthday comes, we have to do it from a box because I don't have a good recipe for yellow cake. No matter what recipe I try, the cake come out dry. Mm. And then you know, come out as yellow. Then people lie. They sneak behind the back and put dye in that stuff. Or they color it in the, in the editing or something. 30 seconds, Josh, I'm to get too hot. Oh. So, in any case, um, I don't search a potabon recipe because I know how to make potabon extremely well because I got the recipe from Catherine's. I always boast about the fact that I went to St. Catherine's Academy in Belize, the best school as far as I'm concerned, because mama pay good money for Igande. So I always boast about that. And that's where I got the recipe from, from home egg. So I don't look for milk cake, like Belizean cake, like cake. I get the recipe from somebody in the family. I'm telling you, if I know how to make something good, I will not look up a recipe on it. Mm -hmm. My mom used to say me sickening with that. You know, look up a recipe and I don't care. You want Marie bun recipe? No, I can make bun good. And that's what I do. If no, if I feel like my bun no good, then yes, I will take that person's recipe and try it, right? Mm -hmm. So why is she looking up a, a tamales recipe on my site? And I told her to click on view still count though. I'm not black, huh? Mmm. This is perfect. So you gotta put up a, a, a lot, put up with a lot in the comments. And most of the time I could let it fly, but mm. sometimes like when Facebook pissed me off the other day when I figured out a 50 cents per thousand view, that's the same thing they did to me with those videos. They said, oh, you see how I fly, the fly right now, Joe. Huh? Oh, I saw one, I saw one. See, you can make it, per oh, what the hell, wait. Hey, you coming out of a garage. Jory had the garage open today, cleaning his car. Mm -hmm. And they they stay they stay hidden in the garage when they open the door from the laundry room to the garage go pitch by a mop fly when they do that he come in no we have to we gonna have to murder that we gonna have to buy that thing when they advertise on tv that zvo or whatever the hell that thing is what is, what is it it's a thing where i guess you plug it into the wall it attracts the fly in there and then it sticks the fly sticks in there on the glue thing yeah we need one of those. We need several of those. Yes, you do. Mm -hmm. We definitely need one in the garage for when they come in into the garage. Yep. One day in there right now, Josh, I have to I hide know, the both of them. I saw them. It's a small one, so it's going to be harder to take out. Mm -hmm. This is a big one. The, the big one, they can't fly because they're too heavy. Yeah. They're lousy. The, the little ones, they train them to fly backwards, forwards, upside down, they, all type of stuff, and they don't land. They're like a harrier. Mm -hmm. <coughs> yeah, so I'm like. When it comes to content creation, yes, I shut my mouth for the most part. I used to be worse. I used to answer everybody on Costello. Now I just shut my mouth and keep it moving. Yeah, so, let me tell you an experience that I had yesterday. I went to DSW to buy a pair of shoes for the wedding. Jewelry wedding is coming up. Mm. Wait. Let me enjoy my rice and my soup to get I oh. thought you were going to say something. Mm. That blend right there was... Oh. You finished already? Mm. Oh, yeah. We eat, eat it with rice? Yeah. It was good, Josh? Yeah, it's really good. It's been awesome, it's crab. Next time when you buy um, crab again, make sure you don't want any, okay? Mm-hmm. Don't worry, I'll take the lobster. Mm. And how lobster are too? It wasn't too bad with the lobster this time. Is it not? Yeah, I just don't so, know how to snap it. Sometimes it's expensive. Get out! Don't say that. Mm. Oh, yeah. Set to that. <laughs> oh, I gotta beat that up. <laughs> I didn't say nothing bad, but YouTube is gonna get it. Jada! Come in this chair. We need you. We gotta fly. Come snap its neck. We gotta fly. They trap the fly in my pretty white curtain and, and Jada blood. snap its neck and Jada don't leave no evidence. How does she do that? You're a hit woman, Jada. <laughs> it's still, is, is it dead? Oh. It dead. I wish I had the camera there to show you guys. Jenna tapped it and it's just like Joshua had it trapped up in the curtain <laughs> against the window and they fly up in there a certain spot and Jenna comes up. Snap the neck. The thing goes up. 
You better take all this stuff out of here. Yeah, so? Huh? Snap his neck and all that. <laughs> you too not catch on to <coughs> snap his neck. Facebook would catch on to that if you put it in the title. Anyway. I went to DSW to buy a pair of shoes and I was texting Carla from there because Carla is dressing me for this wedding. She got me the dress, she got me the earring, the necklace. She even wanted to get the shoes, but I said, Carla, slow your roll. I'm real finicky with shoes. Joe wouldn't even go buy a shoes for me by himself. I hear there with me 35, but we did together 37 years, married 35. You buy Anyways, I went over there and I snapped a picture of a shoes that I had one like it, but the toe part was a different color, but it's basically the same shoe. And I told Carla, I said, I already have one like this. Carla texted back and said, don't get no paint and leather. American people say patent leather, but he's and say paint and leather. So I say it like that in a Creole. I said, Joe, Carla said, no get no paint and leather. So a lady look up saying that. She said, I hear your voice. So she said it in Creole, right? So I figure it's Belizean to Belizean. And so, you know, you know, when you're out in the street and you hear another Belizean, you kind of get attracted, you know, or another Caribbean person on a whole. And I said, Belize, right? You know, because sometimes they talk Creole and it's Trinidadian. They don't have the thick accent. They Guyanese, you know, all kind of people talk for we Belize and Creole and kind of sound similar. So I said Belize, right? And she said, yes, Belize. And I, and I tell her, I said, Belize too. And he said, I hear your voice. So I'm like, and he go, I watch your program. I said, oh, because I had on my mask, right? She didn't have a no mask. I had on my mask. And I said, oh, okay. It's not that I forget that I do the program. It's because I thought it was another Belize on Belize thing, right? And so she was so sweet. We took a picture. Her name is Desiree. It's Desire with two E's, Joe. That's how I spell Desiree. And she lives out here in my town, not too far away. What's her last name? I don't know if I want to say her last oh, name. Oh, okay. <coughs> Okay. Should I, I don't like to say people last name. Yeah. I don't know if they want. Anyway, you know who you are, Desiree. So, I told her what I was buying the shoes for and all that stuff. And she, I found this beautiful pair of shoes. Man, the shoe's pretty. But when I put it on, it hurt this toe here next to the little toe on both sides, on both shoes. I said, chop. They say, if that they hurt you now, and you don't lift the toe, they're going to hurt you. Pick up two pair. Get up there, one pair was 69, right? No sale, 69 with no sale. Oh, one was 69 with sale, bring it down to 49. Right. Bill come to 121 something. And she said, don't you have a coupon for this? I said, I don't think so, girl. You know I don't know how to do nothing with my with my mobile phone, my cell phone. I don't know what the hell I'm doing. So she's the, the guy, I mean, they get kind of impatient and rude. The guy at the, um, uh, the, the register. And the people in the line, it was like maybe one person in the line. They weren't, they weren't acting no type of way. And she helped me, child. She wanted to give me her discount. I said, but I don't want to change you. She helped me get in that phone and get that thing to come up and scan it. I saved the thing down to $99. I saved $22. Thank you, Desiree. And I said, see? See how God bring people in your life to be a blessing? So, mm -hmm. I met one of my viewers. One of my subbies. And she was very nice. We exchanged phone numbers. And she'll get invited to the backyard barbecue. Mm -hmm. We don't know when we have one because we don't have a barbecue grill no more. And. I try. We all those old grill. Your covert still there out there? <coughs> I gotta buy me another one now. Very expensive though, you want like, oh, somebody come in and get more mm -hmm. expensive. I make a fire hot outside. Mm -hmm. When he was on call, they fire the fire for you. <laughs> this soup was good. I know you want a gas grill, but I read a coal. You know what I mean? I like grill with coal. Mm -hmm. Because every time we need for barbecue, mm -hmm. you have a coal expensive. And you start to go on in decent. The, the gas is more expensive than coal. Well, that's what I thought, but you go on in decent. <laughs> Yeah, so I was saying earlier that a piece has come over me. I'm going to make these videos, but I'm not stressed out about making the videos because I don't want to stop making the, the vertical short 14 second videos because I've been putting them at uh, YouTube. Mm -hmm. I don't make no money off of that, but I'm praying that they'll come and give me one of the bonuses. I belong to a community. They, they, YouTube has come through and invited me to a community and they want you to do all kind of challenges that I'm not up to. Like on one of them, 
they wanted me to show them my favorite town but it was due like on the same day that i saw the challenge and then one was due the monday after mother's day right mm -hmm. and that was um what was that one mm -hmm. show me 15 seconds of what makes you laugh and like I don't know what to go make up. No, I kind of crap. Yeah, I don't know. I have to go steal people footage now to see somebody tumbling down because that make me laugh when I see people tumble down. I laugh hard. So, <laughs> so it's a lot of things. I know they write me a letter and they told me that they're, they're going to have a stricter criteria for you to be in the community because um, if you're not uploading at least one short, YouTube calls it short, Facebook calls it reels. If you're not uploading at least one short, a a week I think a week mm -hmm. you're gonna get kicked out I'm fine because I upload several a week um, then the next one I'm not fine with because they want me to use the app that's on the phone like when you go to your YouTube app you put the plus sign down below and you say create a reel mm -hmm. not a reel a short create a short and they want you to use that to edit in you, you, you the phone? Joe that thing hurt my eye to use oh, the phone okay. you see me last night updating my when Instagram you put your glasses on there. it's still bad this eye is so strained this the phone's small my phone no big you see it right here I couldn't do either I gotta put that on my computer so they want to oh Johnny made a call huh? uh, Johnny huh. okay so see when you come here let me see what they can see can you guys see the plus sign they think the camera they far today so hit the plus sign right and then it says create a short now normally this is where i upload it says select your photos right so you're supposed to string them you, they want you to tape on your phone then you string it together then you add their music and then you upload it i can't do that with the cooking videos because i i don't know how to really use iMovie on the phone to edit my sister knows how to do that better than i do she edits she ed, edits on her phone she doesn't know how to edit on her computer like i know how to edit so I do everything with my camera and on my computer. I don't know how to close this stuff now. I don't know how to close it, see? Anyways, they tell me if I don't use that, they're gonna kick me out of the community. Oh well, oh hell, they're gonna have to kick me out because I'm not gonna edit on this small device. I'm editing on a 13 inch computer right now and it's giving me horrible eye strain. Can you believe but, editing on this? But what's the difference? Can you what imagine? Edit on? Huh? What's the difference? You still get this stuff? They want to use that app. Then they want to use for their music. I'm using music from Ben Sound because it's not copyrighted and I can't do that. And I give Ben Sound all the credit in the videos. And so they want to use their music. And then when you go on and click on their music, they tell you you can't monetize the video. So what the, what's the deal? And I don't know why I'm turning on money on the video anyway because I don't make a penny. You have to get literally 20 million views to make $20 with shorts at but YouTube. You don't tell them that when you... Um turn on their music you can't um. I have n not had anybody to talk to these are all emails so <clears throat> they're having like a I think on the 6th or the 7th of June I have to be in a virtual thing online they had one the other day but I'm totally missed what date it was supposed to be and so I missed it I, I missed a month I, I thought it was gonna be June but it was actually May so in any case I don't know if I'm gonna be in that committee long enough for them to even be a blessing to me but you guys know what i do i sell books i sell my cookbooks i thank you guys for buying mm -hmm. i'm trying to build out my instagram why is this thing dancing here you, you hitting the table this thing so did it dance over here i was doing this okay <clears throat> yeah so um on instagram they say whatever you're selling if you know how to capitalize on your following on instagram you could sell things and be rich so I'm watching a lot of videos right now on how to build out the Instagram to promote my books, all right? So remember, pick up a copy of the book, pick up, or maybe three of them. I have three whole books. I was working on a fourth and I kind of got sidetracked. I might go back to it again. Um, somebody bought a book from me. I think your name is Cynthia. Not gonna say your last name, Cynthia. You know who you are. You came and you paid my cash app and you paid the correct amount, amount of money to co cover the shipping and everything. But, and you told me what book you want. You want the pantry laid bare. But you did not come and send me no email as to where I'm supposed to send the book. That's the one thing when you go through Cash App, you're going to have to find a way to send me a message saying this is where. The email is right here, bearpantryshow at gmail.com, right here on the bottom of the video. It's also down below in the description. It's also at my website, right? I have it everywhere. It's bearpantryshow at gmail.com. Email me, Cynthia. Tell me where you want me to send the book and I'll ship it out on Monday, tomorrow because I have another couple orders that came in over the weekend that I'm going to go ship. So if I don't hear from you, I'm going. I'm, go I'm gone. I'm gone. And after Wednesday, 
I'm gone. So you're not going to get nothing until next week, Tuesday. We have a short week this week, right? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Anyways, guys, do you have something to say, my darling? Mm. Mm. Just that, like what you were saying, buy the book. Folks, buy the book because I always say, that's the only country joke could eat something special like this. I don't eat this all the time. Now. And by the way, <laughs> Jada says she loves my hair like this because she says I look like Sandra Bullock. No, what you need this money? How come you look so pretty? Oh my God, yeah. sugar, sugar, how you get so fly? Yeah, I'm gonna keep you. You gonna keep me? Yeah, I'm keep you. Jada, do I look like Sandra Bullock today? A little bit. I favor Sandra Bullock. I can see some similarities. I don't know what it is. I don't know if it's the, the way face, we... The face, if, like, the like shape of the face? Yeah. It's the shape of the face? Because oh it's not like the top lip, right? Because she has this thing here on the top lip going into her nose up here. I don't have that. Um, I don't know that it's the, our eyes, mm. but I could see a flash of me in her every now and again. It's like me. Who you favor now? Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> Bye, people. <laughs> Jesus had dreadlocks. <laughs> Anyways, whenever I put that thing on Instagram and I put a picture of me and Sandra Bullock side by side, I well, know I don't look exactly like the girl, you know. I know that. I'm not blind. But there's something in that we kind of look alike. That's the only celebrity that I could tell you I think I look alike. Mm -hmm. My sister looks like Alisa Milano. I think I look like Sandra Bullock. And Sandra Bullock, pretty. I don't care what you all say. So I'm pretty too, okay? And there's, when I put my hair up, Jada said, like, ooh, damn, I saw the Sandra Bullock hard today, mommy. <laughs> I love you guys for watching. Please like, subscribe, share. I look forward to your comment. And Jada's bringing her, ooh. It's hot. What is that? Oh, that's gorgeous. What is that? Twisted butter. Krista patata. I made the pizza dough for her, and you can buy dough from the store if you want. And then she stuffed it with cheese and pepperoni and spaghetti sauce or pizza sauce pizza sauce so then she uh -huh, then she formed it into a ball and then she put it in a cupcake tin she put some stuff on the top too it had you know babe and then she baked it how long babe 20 minutes or i think i'm i think i'm kind of recording a video on this yeah so this is gorgeous i love it mm -hmm. all right i'm gonna eat my lactose thing and eat some of it later <laughs> Bye, guys. Bye-bye, people. Remember, guys, we are not buying this book. Pick up a copy of this book instead. Beans and Rice Volume 2 is the only Belizean cookbook backed by The Bear Pantry Show. Take a look at all these wonderful recipes you'll find inside the pages. Not interested in Belizean dishes? Then the pantry laid bare with these better than restaurant quality comfort foods might be the perfect book for you. Only need a small batch or a meal for two? Then pick up a copy of No More Leftovers. Each book has many choices of delicious dishes from basic ingredients.